Hi, and this video uh, we are going to build this list of um, popular upcoming products from Product Hunt, but we are going to build this list in Harmony, basically. So let's get started. Like we, what we need to do is get the data from this page first. So we do this by clicking Inspect and then go to the network tab and then click reload to see which data is loaded on the page so we have this uh, two endpoints graphql data mm, I, I don't think this is the one that we are looking for nor okay so let's Click on the page again to check. Yeah, the thing is because I already loaded this page once, so the ABI, like the data, is not called. Um, yeah, the, the the data is already cached, so they don't make another EBI call to fetch the data. So what we need to do actually is maybe we go to this page. No, not this one. Uh, collections. And let's clone this page, for example, meditation tool. products yeah so I think this is the data that they're looking for always look for the GraphQL data so yeah I think it is this one yeah nodes women's equality day no this is not a product what are the products i think this is the one maybe data collection or maybe it is this one I think it is this one. Okay, so yeah, it is. Uh, mm, it is this one, I think. box is this the first product in the list nodes posts let's search kind of So yeah, let's copy this. Um, we say copy value and let's exit. And let's see if we click shift kit. Yeah, I think this is the endpoint that we are looking for. Yeah, and we go back to Harmony. and we i already created a page but in a project but i want to create another page so i go to 
project settings and click add page and let's call it product hunt create page uh, it's always harmony creates this text element inside your page by default but I don't need it so I will just um, create um, a layout because as we said layout is the basis for anything in harmony and I'm gonna delete this and I want this layout to be the page basically so I will give it 100% width and the height 100 VH which is 100 viewport height and I'm gonna give it a gray background 5x5x5 and yeah that's it and now I uh, need to add my data and in order to add this data from the API from like from uh, the product hunt I need uh, to drag a JavaScript and usually I put it here and inside this JavaScript I am gonna click edit code and in this code I'm gonna write this dot binding dot data equal No, I don't think this is the data that we are. No, no not this one. Uh, let's go back to product account and click inspect. What was my data again? Yeah, I think it is this one. Collection. Items, edges. So yeah, it is this list here. It's called edges, and I'm gonna just click copy value, and I'm gonna go back to harmony, and click paste. now it copied all the values and I'm gonna click run statement run on page load save reload and now I can see your data here and it's a list of yeah things and yeah what let's look at the data to see what what's in it actually we have type name which we don't care about, we have ID, we don't care about, we have post itself, I think this is what we're looking for, creation date, has voted means I haven't voted on it yet, this is the name, I think this is the name of the product itself, so we are interested in the name, and we are interested in the thumbnail and we are interested in the vote count and we are interested in created at so um let's go to my layout panel and start creating a layout that looks basically like this layout here so we have a thumbnail image we have a title we have a description we have a number of comments we have number of votes and i also want to create this functionality that um when i click on something it increases the vote so let's do this so go to my layout and inside this layout i'm gonna create let's give it for example um 20 bx from all sides a bedding and let's create another layout inside of this and i want to this layout to call it um 
list rebeater and I'm gonna give this a width of 100% and I am gonna give it a background of white and inside this list rebeater what, what do I have? I have an image I have a description and I have this voting thing and they are aligned space between so let's do this we have we create a layout and copy based after and we align them space between and this list repeater has 16 bx from all sides x 15 bx and and what else yeah inside th this layout i will call it um info and this layout <coughs> i will call it voting because this section is the info section and this is the voting component and inside info i have three things i have an image image and this image has a let's say 16 bx margin from the right side and i have um product info Mm hmm so I create another layout here I call it product info and this layout has three things it has um, it has an image it has a title a description a number of comments and the type of product like iPhone is it an iPhone product or an Android product so we have four things here okay so let's go to product info and add four layout actually actually add three layout and another layout and another layout and inside this layout we will add two layouts and this is called title description and what is in the last row comments and platform comments and platform and i will call this comments and i will call this platform and inside comments i have an image and i have text inside platform i only have text description is only text title is just text image is an image so now i have all the components that i need actually so this is an image and this is three things title description and comments okay let's also adjust okay cool so let's add some placeholders So let's say this is the title of the page
This is the description text. I'm gonna make my title bold. And I'm gonna make my description text in a gray font. So let's say text color 757575. And I am gonna need between the title and the description, I need 4px margin. And between the description and comments, I eat 8px. And inside comments, I say that I have, a, a, for example, let's say 17. And let's add an image here. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's click in the script to get um it's an image link span okay let's go to mat comment icon material design and yes search material icons I want to comment icon so yeah so um, yeah let's take this icon for example and download it as SVG and go back to Harmony and upload it uh, in my downloads here and I'm gonna give it a width of for let's give it height of 14 VX okay and I want to make it like this so yeah and I want to give this whole thing um, bedding 4px, 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 and give it a background of yeah, e2, e6, e9. So, yeah, something like this. And the platform is a text, so let's call iPhone. And we said we want to make it like this, and I want to make this, uh, give this a spacing of 8px. And let's, for the image, let's add, uh, what is the image dimensions actually? So if you click on this image, you should get the dimensions. Yeah, height, width and height, 6 TBX. So let's give this a uh, width of 6 TBX, height 6 TBX. And in order to see it, I want to give it a um, radius of 4 BX and a background of 5, F5, F5, F5. Cool. Now I have it, I think. Okay, but I think I need to make stuff a little bit smaller. So let's go back here. I want to make my title, for example, um, let's say 16BX. And let's say the description text, I want to make it 14bx. And I want to make this 14bx. Uh, and I want to make this 14bx. And I want to make the whole comment thing is 20bx. Okay. 
And maybe instead of 60 times 60, let's make it 80 times 80. Cool. And maybe this is also 16. Let's make it 16 so it's more readable. And instead of 8bx, let's give it 12bx. Cool. Now I have everything. And yeah, mm, the voting inside this voting. This voting is actually also a box that's let's say 40bx and 40bx, and it has a border 1bx, 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 radius is. 4bx color is d5 d6 dd style is solid and instead of let's make it 60 60 and everything in this is centered like here so i have two things i have an arrow and i have a number so let's go to Components arrow arrow up we'll just say up and download the SVG and go to what the fuck we we'll go yeah yeah go to here and add an image and the text and this image is my arrow up and the text is the number let's call it 18 and I want them underneath each other and I want this 18 to be bigger font so let's say 20bx Cool. So, and I want to add an on click action to this. Uh, because I want to, when I click on it, I want to increase the thing so I go, go add the JavaScript here and I will call it increase votes cool and what's left now is that in this list tributor yeah this distributor will basically want it like this and the height let's say a height of auto no this doesn't help out uh, because as you see the height is too big and this is not ideal because this is how to make a height uh, like flexible so yeah maybe because this is this is this is 80 bx and we have 16 bx from both sides so 80 plus 32 let's make this 112 Is this 80 BX? Yes, this is 80 BX. And this, I will define it as a maximum height. 112 BX. It's... Oh. 
Okay, cool. Let's save and let's reload the page. Yeah, anyways, I think we did something wrong here. We click on this page, the less to beater. Maybe let's put the less to beater in another layout. So, paste it inside. And I'll call this list. What's wrong? This is not 112VX. It says that the height of this is 112. Okay. So let's actually forget about this UI and just connect uh, this to data. So I go to my data here and I just click on the last tributor and I just say data binding to data. Now I have everything. Now I have my list. Cool. And what's remaining? Is to connect the thumbnail to the actual thumbnail in the data. So data dot nodes dot post dot thumbnail image data dot node dot post dot thumbnail image and then it's okay data binding node dot post dot thumbnail image Is it really like this? Nodes, post, is it some thumbnail? Because it doesn't display the thumbnail image, which is weird. Maybe it's my internet. Okay. And I will connect this uh, number to votes count. Node dot node post dot votes count. So let's go here. Node dot post dot votes count. Cool. And this image we said we want. Okay, cool. And the title, I want to connect it to the, I think, node to the post dot um, name, I think. So let's say, yeah, um, node dot post dot name. And the description is
mm, tagline. So node post dot tagline. Now we have tagline number of what's left is the number of comments. Uh -huh. So node dot post dot comments count node dot post dot comments count. Let's check actually, this is true, yeah. <sighs> Some of them has no comment count actually, yeah, okay. And featured at, uh, no, we don't need featured at, we need the, uh, where's the data that says iPhone? Slug, no. Type name, post, comment count, disabled, when scheduled, false ID name, pricing type, topics, edges, node. Okay, where is the, okay, we are node, post. As what is ID name, product state, yeah, here we have Android, iPhone, productivity, tech, web app, wearables, crypto, so it's something like a category that we are looking for, tagline, feature that. Topics. Topic. Edge. Yeah, so we have inside nodes, post. Dot topics node node dot post the topics dot edges dot node dot name that's somehow long so we say node dot post dot topics dot edges dot node dot name that's wrong so we have okay we have node Dot post dot topics dot edges dot node dot name that didn't seem to work, which is weird. 
let's go back to our data So let's 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 test it somehow. So if I say data node node dot post dot um topics dot let's copy this thing for example would it work okay it works so it can read what's inside topics what if we say edges Yeah, because it just is an array. So let's let's say it just of zero. Dot type name. Doesn't work. Okay, let's say not post the topics that edges. Okay, and because edges is an array, we can go back to our data. And whenever something is an array, you have to delete or you have to repeat over it. So repeat data items. And here I don't need this anymore because I have access to it node post topics edges node with name cool because the thing is you might have multiple types so user experience plus web app for example so that's why it's an it's a list and in case if something is a list you put it inside the layout and uh, instead of calling the endpoint like uh, <coughs> connecting to the endpoint itself you repeat over it and now you have a nice um, looking list here for some reason we cannot read the thumbnail property but yeah i think this might be fixed at some point let's let's go to the data for example let me check if this Thumbnail is actually correct. Post dot not if we click the thumbnail image here. <coughs> yeah, because it's actually it's not the thumbnail image is not a URL, it's uh, local storage. So it has to be a URL. And in this case we have to Try another thing, so instead of thumbnail image, we can try this shortened URL. How does what this is will lead us? Okay, data.
Okay. Yeah. Let's forget about damage for now because it's um, it's not a URL, so we cannot actually access it. So what's left? What we need to do is to make this functionality of when you click over the count that you actually see you actually increase the vote. So we can do this. Uh, by on on click we call the increase votes action and then size inside this the dot inside this increase votes we would say this dot end vote So this dot input dot nodes plus plus, which means increase the if we have an input, increase the node uh, the votes count inside post inside node inside this input. So let's click run a statement. Oh wow, it works. Cool. Maybe you can also add an arrow to decrease it. So let's actually do this. Or yeah, m uh, maybe like yeah, maybe you got the point how to actually increase the something. Cool. Let's click save and 